Hi guys, so I received a message from BaronQN1601, it says ISO image. Hey again D, I was wondering if you could make a video on how to make an ISO image file. For example, Ubuntu Linux. I'm trying to install it on a virtual machine, so I need help uh, making an ISO image of Linux. Thanks in advance and love your vids. Smiley face. They are really helpful. Um, thanks for your question, BaronQN1601. Now, I'm actually going to take this video to explain in depth uh, what a CD image is what it's useful for, what an ISO image is, and a couple of other formats as well. Uh, what they're useful for, why would you why would you need them, and yeah, that's about it. Now, um, an ISO image basically is a CD um, in a file on your computer. So let me give you an example. I, I'm going to have a, I'm going to burn an ISO image uh, to show you. Now I've got a CD in my CD drive. I want to make a file out of it on my computer that contains everything that's on that CD, absolutely everything that's on it, um, and then just put it into one file so it doesn't. I don't have to have folders and things like that. Now you can do that by making an ISO image. Now you'll notice I've got here star star star. Now all these stars just means a file name because usually it will be a file name dot ISO, and you've seen it in my videos. It has dot ISO on the end. Now uh, you also notice here I've got star dot DAA and dot D dot UIF. Now these two are common but not as common as ISO is and people do get irritated when they download things and they're in these formats because these are called proprietary formats meaning that the program used to create them has to be the program used to open them so DAA is used by a program called Power ISO and UIF is used by a program called Magic ISO now I'll explain how you can open these and um, use them as well as ISO in a second. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically create an ISO image and I'll tell you why um, as I start to do it. So um, I have a Creative Zen here, uh, that's just my MP3 player. I have the CD for it in my CD-ROM drive, my physical CD-ROM drive uh, that I've got on my computer. I'm just going to make an image on my hard drive of it. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to say create image from CD. Now you you won't have this option as standard. You need to download something called ISO Recorder, and I'll provide the link to this in the description. It just makes it easy. You can just say create image from CD. You get CD Recording Wizard from I with the Creative CD in it to Creative to ISO. I'm just going to put it on my desktop here. I'll just say Creative dot ISO. So it's going to go onto my desktop and leave Creative to ISO. Now this is what I've been doing previously. So I'm just going to say next, and it's uh, you'll probably hear my CD and um, yeah you can see it's now spinning so it's now making my ISO image so what is this useful for well like I said I've got this uh, mp3 player and my CDs tend to get scratched because I'm a bit lazy I don't put my CDs in cases I just leave them in a big pile now as I browse through them I tend, up, I tend to scratch them as I browse through them now um, this is just a great way to back up your CDs because once you've made this ISO image because it contains an exact replica of your CD in a file you can then reburn that onto a blank CD so it's very useful and also um, if you have something called a virtual CD which I'll go into in a second um, it basically fakes um, a CD-ROM drive which you can then mount these ISOs with and um, if you have something like that, that means that you can just run it from your hard drive and everything's a lot quicker than just inserting your CD. So it's great for backup purposes and for things like games because you can just make an entire image of your game. It can be a DVD or a CD, it'll go into an ISO image and then you can mount it using your um, DVD, um, your virtual CD which I'll explain, um, I'll show you it working. And um, you can then run it off that as if it was in a CD drive. Now with these ISO images, um, for me, to because um, I only have one CD drive in my computer, but I now have two thanks to a piece of software which I've used. Now this is called um, the Magic ISO, ISO Virtual CD DVD Manager. Now um, this is free to download. Uh, you can also get Power ISO uh, Virtual CD. Um, Damon Tools, I think, and I think um, Microsoft have their own virtual CD thing here, but I'm just using, Mag I think it's called Magic Disk. And uh, basically, it just uh, makes a new CD drive on your computer and runs in the corner. So all I need to do is right click this, and then you'll see I can either make a CD image using this if I wanted to, um, but you'll see it says virtual CD ROM at the top, and it says K, there's no media in it. See, that's drive K. Uh, I can then mount it select my ISO image which I'll be showing you in a second and it will load itself into drive K so um, and you can have more than one um, you see number of drives I can have four drives if I want to 
and um, you can just unmount them to eject the CDs and it won't affect anything in your system so um, this is what magic disk is for me now um, power ISO and um, the, the daemon tools and things like that work in exactly the same way you just mount them uh, so, I mean sometimes I think sometimes you can just right click this and actually say mount here but um, I'm just using this magic disk down here so I uh, just got to try and get rid of this menu for some reason it doesn't go away <laughs> uh, right cancel that so my operation is completed I've now made an ISO complete replica of my CD that was in my drive so I'm now going to eject that because that, that's making a lot of noise <laughs> uh, come on CD drive there we go right so that's now out so there's nothing in my I drive and there's nothing in my K drive now what I want to be able to do is mount this ISO image to drive K and uh, without putting any CD or anything so I'm just going to right click this magic disk I'm going to go virtual CD drive K mount I'm going to locate my ISO image now you can see it opens ISO UIF now you notice I said UIF in this uh, in this notepad thing UIF here that's the magic ISO proprietary format now you will need to get the power ISO virtual CD to open these DAA files and use them as um, as your drive now you see I've got creative ISO here just go double click that and you notice straight away it's auto played because it didn't need to load up a CD or anything and um, you see it's loaded itself into drive K and it's exactly the same as it was in drive I so um, again this is useful for games because you can make exact replica of games instead of actually trying to open the, DVD, um, the CD or DVD and copy the contents of it you're just making an exact image of it so you can then put it into drive K uh, or put it into your extra drive um, now to answer your question, uh, where is it? <laughs> uh, your question, Baron Q, making an um, Ubuntu Linux. Now, um, when you go to download it, because I made a uh, video saying try on Linux without rebooting, burning CD, because you don't have to burn it, because um, you're downloading an image of the CD. Because um, one thing not to forget is if you have a bootable CD, such as an XP CD or anything like that, if you make an ISO image out of it and burn it to a CD, um, if you burn it to a CD I suggest using something like BurnAware or CD Burner XP it will then burn the ISO to a disk making an exact copy of where it was before um, it, will re it, will remain, it will retain its bootable um, state so it will still be bootable in this new disk so um, I'm not sure if you want to make an ISO image out of uh, your Ubuntu Linux CD if you have an actual physical CD um, uh, in which case I've just pretty much shown you how to do that you just use ISO recorder um, which I'll provide in the description um, but in this actual video and I've had some people saying they've been downloading zip files and things like that but if I, I'll just show you if I go to more in the description and go to get Ubuntu which is what I was showing downloading and installing Ubuntu um, if I just choose a location random location I'll just say one in the UK because it's close uh, Great Britain there we go car whatever it is limited you'll notice it says download URL and it's a Ubuntu 7 and it's a dot ISO image so straight away it's um, a, a virtual CD so it's ready to go in something like VirtualBox which is a virtual machine now um, so I don't understand people who have been downloading zip files and things like that I'm not sure but hey now um, I'll just quickly go on the ISO recorder website to show you which one you might want to get because it's free it's free to download uh, ISO recorder version 2 and um, I'll just go on the website quickly and hoping that it actually works. There we go. Welcome to ISO Recorder. So you got it for Windows XP with no service pack and Windows XP service pack 1, version 2 for service pack 2, and version 3 for Windows Vista. And all it does is, um, yeah, it just adds this context menu so you can create an image for your CD. And you also notice that it said copy image from CD to CD. Now, if you have more than one drive, you can just make a direct copy onto your other drive. That's a great. Um, thing with ISO Recorder. So um, you've got a choice of either using ISO Recorder or I noticed as I showed earlier that you can right click and actually say make CD DVD image um, in your virtual um, thing here and then you can just make an ISO from a CD ROM. Uh, wow well, you can password protect it as well. <laughs> cool. So um, that's pretty much it really. I hope this explains uh, virtual CDs. It's just a great way to back up your CDs, make exact copies of them, have them running faster on your PC and uh, making copies of games without having to put your CD in each time just run it off that and install it off this drive not your main drive install it off the virtual drive so uh, thanks for watching my video hope this explains it uh, please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again